I love studio portraits. I think that, you know, there's a way, there's a concentration that goes on in that work. When you're working just one-on-one -on -one with someone in a studio, there is a, a real, there has to be some sort of connection. Something happens there. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Great. And come back to me, honey. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, good. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful, honey. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, hold on, hold on. Yeah, good. Great. Go away again, honey. Honey, let me see if you close the, the, that one. Pull a little bit on it. Yeah, good, good. Okay. Yeah, and then you can do anything. I'm just going to... Yeah, beautiful. Uh, yeah, good, good, Rene, good, good, excellent. That's the problem when you are like compulsive and addictive as I am is that it feels so good that you keep going because you want to like kind of repeat it or, or just stay in that moment. Sometimes you have to keep shooting because you are not there yet, you know, and so in a way it has very much to do with the, also the repetition and then to take, to take the picture, take the picture, and then somehow it becomes less important and people kind of relax also. To, the less dramatic, the less production around, around them, you know, make it also like a sense of, of trust, you know. Yeah, great. Go to the light, Kayla. Yeah, good, good. Stay there, beautiful. And actually, I, f I think after Karine, when we will do something without the table, and you could be doing, make the gesture, could be beautiful. It just will feel very awkward and look really stupid because I yeah. won't feel it because I have no music or anything. Oh, so. maybe we can play some music. Good, yeah, beautiful, Karine, beautiful. Just go away sometime, man. Go away, go away. Yeah, good, good, beautiful. I look for something that, that I recognize, which is something that rings true to me. You know it when it comes, and, and I'm very inarticulate about it because it's only inst instinct. And you know, the, to me, at that moment, I recognize I've I felt something that is really has to do with connection and intimacy. And I always try to have people at their best, not not you know, but themselves. As you know, and that's why I don't use like. I'm, I'm staying away from fashion and I'm staying away from ideas or a produced shoot. I mean, I think I was very influenced by my father who had not, who wanted to be a photographer all his life and his parents would not think it was right after the war, Second World War. I was very lucky, you know, because I was like helped that way by him and by my mother. I had no idea that it will be my life, you know, and that it will turn out to be a vocation, but it did. And if, if anything, as I get older, it gets even more essential and pronounced and, you know, focused. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And this, I just want to feel the beginning in your eyes of your, of your smile. Just a very, very, yeah, beautiful. Gracie, stay there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Gracie, beautiful. There are people that have been in my life for 20, 25, 30 years that I follow, and then it developed in a, in a true deep friendship. Uh, from Meryl Streep to Daniel Delewis, Kevin Klein, John Malkovich, the Panther. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. But it, it's a it's a, it's a mismatch mismatch for now because it's not the final thing. But this is Warren Beatty. Ellen Mirren. That's uh, Gina Roland. Oh, you know, like I will have in this new book, I will have series. There's a few people that I follow for 25 years and more sometime. One of them is Meryl. Oh, so that, yeah, it was 77, I think. It's just. Oh, oh <coughs> section on Marty. <coughs> Matt Damon in The Departed. <laughs> Louis Bourgeois. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Each photograph. You can't say, oh, this photograph is just like the, another one. Each oh, one, each one is, has its own character. Oh, that's a, that's a good Really? Thought. I mean, yeah. this is so... It's, it's, it's another face, but yeah. 
Point good, 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 Albert. Oh, another one, Robert Altman. Wait a minute, who is that? The German? Close to you, Antonini. Antonini? Uh, no, I mean, <laughs> what, what, what's, what's his name? What's his name? It's you, Robert. No. <laughs> it's you, Albert, it's you. <laughs> is that funny? I think this guy's a, an Italian, yeah. an Italian <laughs> filmmaker. That is so funny. And go away again, Bonnet. Go away. Yeah, good. Yeah, good. It's almost like you know, doing a study. It's almost like uh, doing a study of your face. So you, so if you if you are uh, if you look away and then you come back and then I have a different angle of three quarter and then you come back and you are right there. But remember to be very grounded with your feet. And good, good, good. Okay. Yeah, beautiful, Bonnie. Beautiful. Stay there, Gracie. Don't move. Don't do anything. Just with your eyes, Gracie. Just with your eyes. Just come to me. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Stay there. I can be maybe too protective sometimes and the people I love and work with on and on and on again, you know. No matter if it's a personal portrait or if I've been hired to do, to do, to execute a portrait, you know, for a magazine or no matter if you are going to, it's a long standing relationship with someone or if you are never going to see them again, I mean, I have to insist just for myself, for the pleasure and the beauty of it, that it will be the most honest, the most direct, the most, you know, intimate that you can. I mean, some, I mean, there is various degrees of, degrees of success, of course, but that's what you hope for.